Nearly everything in the world has some kind of rhythm to it. Lots of phenomena in nature and society take on an almost wave-like pattern when observed over time. These waves are a representation of cycles. While the patterns that emerge aren't perfect and therefore aren't usually totally predictable, there tend to be interesting patterns that can be seen. The weather, for instance, is certainly known to have patterns, especially with the rise and fall of temperature. There is an overarching cycle of seasonal temperature changes, day and night temperatures, and, in terms of indoor temperature, heating and air conditioning produce clear patterns in temperature changes. Not too long ago, I made some videos documenting some experiments with a temperature logging system I put together using a USB thermometer and a Raspberry Pi. I've had it logging and charting the temperature in my computer room for almost five years now. When examining the data, there are definitely the expected patterns from seasonal temperatures, sunrise and sunset, and the heating and air conditioning leaving their distinct signatures in the temperature fluctuations. As mentioned in these experiments, the temperature is consistently logged once every five minutes with the only gaps being from power outages or when the Raspberry Pi is temporarily out of commission for various reasons. The process of sampling data is no different than what happens with a camera sensor or a digital audio recording. Specific values are taken from an analog source at a moment in time at a certain rate. Therefore, Temperature samples can be used as audio samples or pixels in an image. This is what I did in the experiments. And I should probably let you know that we're going to get just a little bit technical. It's not rocket science or anything, but it does get a little into the weeds. Alright, so what would one expect to hear with temperature samples converted to audio? Well, first, the audio would obviously have to be played back at a much faster rate than the temperature samples were recorded. And later on in the experiments, I decided to just go ahead with the 8 kilohertz. In other words, the speed up was at a factor of 2.4 million times the original speed. That's still quite a bit. So, what would we expect to hear? The lowest audible frequency in the expected sound would be around 28 hertz, because each day should have 288 temperature samples. We would divide 8,000, our sample rate, by the number of samples representing the time span of the cycle. The 28 Hz tone would represent the rise and fall of temperature throughout the course of each day. It also means that almost 28 days worth of temperature readings whiz by per second as we listen to the audio. And everything else should be more or less noise or static. That would be due to any other factors affecting the readings, including electromagnetic interference and the temperature of the Raspberry Pi as it changes due to whatever the processor is doing at the time. So yeah, so we should hear two tones and some static noise. That is not, however, what happened. <laughs> What actually came through in the audio? In most places, it's just loud static. There are definitely some tones of different frequencies, some of them consistent with what was predicted. Other sounds, however, are very hard to explain, and in a few places, we actually get what distinctly sounds like human speech. Albeit garbled human speech, but human speech nonetheless. At least it sounds that way. You know, before cell phones almost entirely replaced landline telephones, we used to have cordless phones that used common frequencies like 700 and 900 megahertz. These phones usually supported different channels because one cordless phone could interfere with another. This was before the radio signals for these phones were digital, so it was entirely possible and even quite common to pick up the conversations of your neighbors if their cordless phones were using the same frequencies. 
When this happened, however, the audio usually wasn't very clear, and due to the frequencies in use being close but not exactly the same, you'd pick up a distorted version of the other conversation. And this is exactly what the speech-like sounds in the temperature data resemble. It can be verified by analyzing the frequencies in the audio that the sounds match the characteristics of human speech, but the words, if that's what they could somehow possibly be, are mostly unintelligible. And this is where another phenomenon kicks in. This phenomenon is well known, but it can manifest itself in some very surprising ways. It's known as pareidolia. Pareidolia describes an interesting quirk in the human brain that is very useful under some circumstances, but it can lead to some very convincing misinterpretations of what is objectively evenly distributed random noise. You may have heard stories of people seeing the Virgin Mary in a slice of toast, perhaps? You ever see a cloud that strongly resembles something familiar? Well, those are examples of pareidolia. Now, considering that most of the higher frequency audio coming from this temperature data should be random noise, the simplest and most down-to-earth explanation of hearing voices or other sounds in this audio should be pareidolia. Anyway, here's the entire unedited audio. And here are the two parts that sound like speech to me, this time with a little bit of noise filtering. So it should be pareidolia, right? But after listening to the audio and analyzing the frequencies of the supposed speech, that explanation doesn't seem entirely satisfying. If the data had been sampled at the same rate as it's played back, which would be the case in an actual audio recording, the sounds would be very consistent with radio interference. It's exactly as it would sound and further recordings would probably even yield enough information to determine the exact source, likely a broadcast station or an amateur radio operator. Cell phones would be out of the question since they're all digital now. But the problem is that the data was sampled 2.4 million times slower than it's played back. That means 10 seconds of audio would have been recorded over a span of 278 days or just a little over 9 months. And if it were radio interference, the radio signal would have been transmitted at such a slowed down speed it would have been completely undetectable in real time. Every second of audio here took about a month to record in real time. Is there anything that could cause radio transmissions to slow down, similar to the Doppler effect, but at such an extreme change in speed? I tried doing some research related to that, but I found absolutely nothing relevant. Time dilation comes to mind, although this is admittedly far-fetched in this context. I deliberately avoided revealing what I hear in the audio as far as words or the type of voice. This is because once something is suggested, you may begin to hear whatever words I point out. I am curious as to what you might hear in this, if anything, if you do hear anything other than plain noise, or even if you hear nothing interesting at all, let me know in the comments. You may think I'm crazy, and that's fine too, since I kind of agree. 
The logical part of my brain says it's pareidolia. My ears and my eyes, as well as the spectrogram, however, beg to differ. Now, I'm not trying to channel spirits or seek out the paranormal or any of that, but I cannot ignore what I hear in this. Now, if this isn't just some stubborn, persistent psychological illusion, it defies explanation. Thank you very much for watching.